I want to introduce you to the number line. A number line is just a line with a bunch of tick marks where each mark represents a number. So I'll start in the middle with zero and then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight going to the right. Those are the positive numbers. And then going to the left, we have negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, negative six, negative seven, and negative eight. In the middle, where zero is, we call that the origin. And by convention, the positive numbers are written on the right and the negative numbers are written on the left. If for some reason you decide to write your number line vertically, then put the positive numbers above the negative numbers. Now the numbers that I've listed on my number line here are the integers. You're probably already familiar with the integers, but you might not know that the integers are represented by a funny looking Z. Why Z? Well, it comes from the German word Zahlen, which means numbers. And so to represent the set of integers, I can put them between these curly braces here. And the dot dot dots that are on the left and the right, that just means that they keep going on forever and ever and ever. Now in the integers, there are subsets of the integers. That means that they're just part of the integers. For example, whole numbers. Whole numbers are 0, 1, 2, 3, and they keep going, dot, dot, dot. Positive integers are kind of like the whole numbers, but without zero. So that would be one, two, three, and so on. And then the negative integers, you can imagine starting at negative one and then going backwards to the left, negative two, negative three, and then so on. How do you label a point on a number line? Well, it's pretty easy. Suppose we have this point right here. I'll call it point P. The coordinate of point P is five. Now you probably know that there are other kinds of numbers besides integers. On my number line, I've just represented integers, but you could imagine where something like one half might be, halfway between zero and one. But for now, I'm just gonna focus on the integers.